<laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah, this is like a kind of a weird atmosphere in it's here. It's a little spooky. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so first we have to talk about Walk of Shames. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Because you are so good at it. How was that whole process of finding the perfect one? You know, I think everyone has their own experiences to draw from for Walk of Shames. And the thing that was amazing about this movie is it got to progress and be so many different things until in the montage we have the ultimate Walk of Shame slash pride when she gets to streak through campus. So it was really fun. Did you do research? Uh, once I was sitting in Starbucks at five o'clock in the morning in, in New York and I was mm -hmm. watching people <laughs> coming back oh, you from parties. <laughs> Did you do any research like that? I lived in New York for a while and it was always the day after Halloween that you see the best walks of shame because it's not only a walk of shame it's a walk of shame in a relatively revealing costume usually and yeah. carrying heels and my friends and I would go get coffee and sit on the sidewalk and watch everybody walk home so I had a big um, memory bank to draw from what about you did you have any good experiences bad experiences in that area see for me I like you know crashing my own bed be in my own comfort zone <laughs> when I'm intoxicated. So there's no walks Never. Of, of shame. You always make the girl do the walk of shame? That's not very I've, fair. Why is there walking or shame? I think How about laying a drive, down in... A drive of joy. A drive of joy. I've, I've had drives of joy. Just been blissful. Thank God for Ubers. Yes, <laughs> right? I know. It's, I wonder if in the future people won't know what a walk of shame is because everyone's just Ubering. That's true. What a big loss that would be. Anyways, guys, why do you... I mean, I was jumping and laughing, like, all the time in this movie yesterday. It was really funny, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be so funny. But do you guys enjoy, like, being scared? I do sometimes. I, I like the adrenaline. I like how I feel um, at the moment after the scare. But I definitely watch horror movies completely, like, ears plugged eyes covered in a ball because not only do I find them completely horrifying but the music a lot of times gets me that kind of like building slow build crescendo oh, of horrible it's no it's the worst part it's what's so so scary I don't know I feel like when it was a, a horror nights Halloween horror nights uh, maze and going through there I like the adrenaline of it and it's the same with the horror movie I like the adrenaline what she say but I, I can't I don't know. I know they're gonna pop out, so I'm getting ready for. Ah, no, I, it's not for me. The poppy moments are the worst. So you don't like haunted houses and stuff like that. Oh, I love them. Oh, but, you and do. I, I hate them. Oh, and I. Love I hate them because I love them, and I love them because I hate them. That's fair. It's it's back and forth both ways. Well, I think it's how love and hate are so close. I think comedy and horror are close in that way. The one moment you'll be screaming and the next moment you'll be laughing. You sneaky little biatch. Maybe you should switch to water next time. Super helpful. Don't be late to your party tonight. Okay, bye. Bye. So I feel that your character, she's very fearless. I mean, she kind of isn't her, in the beginning, she's maybe not the nicest person, but she's very fearless. Are you anything like that? Like, do you have balls like she does? I would like to think, I would hope that one day I would have the balls like tree. Um, The thing I think that we do share is once we decide we're going to do something, not giving up. Um, I can be pretty strong-willed and hard-headed about things. And I think the tree, once she decides she's going to survive this day, nothing's going to get in her way. Um, and that determination is something I really connected with. So, like having that kind of experience that she does, having to experience something over and over and over again. What is the worst scenario that you can imagine that you would have to like experience, experience over, over and over again? Uh, Did you think about that when you were... I mean, I just went to like bamboo under the nails, you know, that would be Ooh. painful. So like having over that repetitive. Or like um, the first time you like being humiliated at school. Um, oh like something horrible happening in the lunchroom like your pants splitting or spilling food all over and and as a kid like feeling everyone just turn and look at you and that, that like your heart just sinking that would be good therapy though to just go it's over and it's not embarrassing again, again, anymore just, yeah. <laughs> like desensitize yourself yeah great thank you guys thank you so much Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, take care.